Despite extensive research, waterspouts continue to baffle the world with their mysterious nature. While generally harmless on the water, a waterspout that makes land contact will issue an immediate tornado warning, as catastrophic events may take place. Behold, eight things you didn't know about these miraculous forces of Mother Nature. Eight, Sharknado can be real. Well, maybe not sharks, but other marine life. When researchers have labelled the wind velocity and force of water spouts to be fairly mild, there are times the whirlwind occurs with such menacing force that water from the sea can be lifted all the way up into the host cloud. In these instances, all the salts, fish and sea life will be carried up with it. The result? Large numbers of marine life rained from the sky like a mystifying shower of tiny fish, seaweed, jellyfish and salt. While such a spectacle could easily terrify unsuspecting onlookers, the scientific cause is not so complex. Before we continue, we have a question for our viewers. Have you ever seen a water spout in real life? If so, tell us your experience in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified. 7. That's not seawater inside. It can be assumed that the revolving masses of water associated with a water spout is an accumulation of liquids from the ocean surface. However, recent studies have determined that the water inside the vortex is not seawater at all. In fact, what appears to be drifting upward are actually sprays of cloud water. As the clouds gather and condensation begins to form, the water leads to the creation of a swirling mass of cloud water droplets. Six. They have a pretty weak wind velocity. As for their size, an average water spout is around 50 meters in diameter, with associated winds that move at a speed of 50 miles per hour. These numbers would certainly accredit their low destructive capabilities, since the wind velocity is nowhere near high enough to gather that much mass. As there is always an exception to any rule, there have been occurrences in which wind velocities have reached 150 miles per hour, with the greatest water spouts in history reaching 100 meters in diameter. Luckily, these types of fast-moving monstrosities tend to stick to the water and are generally harmless to ships and seafarers. On rare occasions, however, they may transcend over to land. Once the transition from sea to shore is made, a water spout holds the potential of becoming a large-scale tornado, wrecking havoc on anything in its path. 5. They have a vertical funnel Typically found in warm tropical regions, water spouts are unique structures that form over the sea or ocean surface. Beginning as a vertical gust of wind which changes direction as it begins to move higher, a vertical funnel begins to form. This vertical funnel, also known as a water spout, can be compared to a narrow tornado that ranges from a few feet in width and a few feet to several hundred feet in height. While they are generally very narrow, rope-like structures, water spouts can form to epic sizes too. Large varieties have been spotted on many different occasions, such as a recent sighting of a water spout in the Grand Caymans. The force grew to a phenomenal size before shrinking to almost nothing, and then bulking back up again. It's random nature instilling fear in those lucky enough to witness this water miracle. The life cycle of a water spout undergoes five amazing phases. First, a dark spot appears on the surface of the water. Next, a spiral-like pattern emerges from the surface and leads to the generation of a spray ring, also called a cascade, which forms around the dark spot. As the water spout starts to mature, it then becomes visible on the water's surface. Steadily, and then with force, the spinning wind rope ascends upward toward the sky. Eventually, an inflow of warm air into the vortex begins to weaken the forces of mist and air and Thus, the last phase is complete. The aquatic anomaly loses its power. 4. They're hard to predict. Despite the fact that water spouts are commonly found in warm and humid areas, there will never be an accurate forecast when it comes to acts of Mother Nature. Water spouts are far too unpredictable to ever be classified as a predetermined phenomenon. There are warning signs, however. An experienced seaman can guess when something on the water doesn't feel quite right. For example, in the midst of a storm, they know to keep a careful eye out for dark spots, which is the first sign of a water spout's life cycle. Second, fishermen and sailors alike pay careful attention to shifts in the wind 
that seem random or slightly aggressive. When large, cool masses of air begin to spread over waters during late summer and fall, the US National Weather Service is able to forecast the possible emergence of a waterspout. For meteorologists, they must examine the temperature of water and air, moisture and the speed of the wind to foretell whether a waterspout will make an astounding appearance. 3. They don't always play nice Waterspouts on the sea tend to be very harmless. Yet their potential to cause immense damage and casualties should not be underestimated. Such as a tornado, the most destructive aspect of a waterspout lies in its ability to transport anything which crosses its path. Sand, small floating structures, humans, animals, and even smaller sized boats can be carried along with a waterspout. Due to the potential danger at hand, the US National Weather Service must issue a tornado warning in the instance of a waterspout in case it makes its way on shore. As mentioned, the vortices on the water are much less destructive than their land counterparts, but once they cross over, people must be warned. Boats, ships and people on shore are not the only ones threatened by Mother Nature's aquatic miracle. Aircraft, such as helicopters who fly too close for comfort, can be thrown off course by the intense forces of wind. Two, they've been around forever. Waterspouts have been occurring since ancient times and have always been depicted as forces to invoke mystery and fear. The earliest record of a waterspout at sea dates back to 1456, when a ferocious whirlwind of water was spotted near Ancona, Italy. The beast was spotted far offshore before making its way from east to west. Finally, the vortex settled in the churning waters near Pisa. Purportedly, the wonder was around two miles wide in size. Understandable that those unfamiliar with the time to such a creation would be mystified with fear. While records of disastrous waterspouts leading to casualty are far less in number, the memory of the Malta tornado stands as one grave exception. Occurring in 1555 at the Grand Harbour of Valletta, this horror claimed the lives of 100 people. Starting off as a waterspout, the force escalated rapidly and headed toward the shoreline. The end result was the death of 600 people, including four large galleys, the Santa Fe, the San Michel, the San Filippo and the San Claudio, to capsize in the face of disaster. 1. They may solve one of the Bermuda Triangle's many mysteries. Waterspouts, which are basically tornadoes of the sea, have made quite a name for themselves in the Bermuda Triangle. With more than 1,000 planes and ships having gone missing over the years, the Bermuda Triangle is a well-known force not to be reckoned with. Perhaps this marvel may serve to explain some of the mysteries surrounding the infamous triangle, as innumerable numbers of waterspouts have made a name for themselves in the region, also dubbed Hurricane Alley. In addition to ocean water being sucked hundreds of feet into the air, a portion of the Gulf Stream infiltrates the outer edge of this region as well. Permitting bad weather and tempestuous currents, the stream from the Gulf can evolve into high waves which could easily capsize boats. Since water spouts form at random and tidal waves hit with no warning whatsoever, both can reach heights capable of knocking a low-flying plane from the sky. Unpredictable swirling vortices of air coupled with quick-forming waves are a surefire recipe for disaster at sea. This could very well explain a large number of disappearances of pilots and sailors surrounding the ill-famed Bermuda Triangle. Don't forget to share your waterspout story in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Likes Below.